because people are so used to just having the, the gospel basically be you track either how long it takes you to complete a certain distance in a certain amount of time, it's called pace, or you track how far you've gone, distance, uh, you know, you combine those two, but then you might track heart rate just because people say heart rate's a thing that you track, but you don't actually know what necessarily what to do with heart rate unless you learn a little bit more about that. With with power, it's such an abstract concept for runners that it's not even something you ever think about. It's something you internalize. Uh, again, I really like the example about when you go up a hill, the work that you're doing is increasing. Um, you know, the amount of time might stay the same, but the the power, the the work is increasing. Runners know that when you run up a hill, it's hard. You slow down. You know it gets more difficult, but you don't know how to kind of conceptualize it. Um, if somebody's coming from a bike or the triathlon scene and they 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 see stride, they say, "Oh, I know what power is." Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's power. It's it's your effort. It's you know work done over time. It's super simple. But for runners, it's just never really been a thing until the past couple of years. Uh, so when you kind of tell them that you can actually track your effort in real time. It's very cool to see, you know, we go to expos every year, Boston and New York always, but maybe a couple other expos like London or, you know, we go to Kona as well. And that's a very big, you know, triathlon thing. But to see somebody's, you know, wheels start to go in their head and everything kind of click where you're like, wait, I know this feeling, but I didn't know I can actually capture it. That's like been one of the magical things for me. Cause again, you know, my, end goal is to make somebody's next run better and just just help people get better at running but if you can clip a, a small little you know foot pot on somebody's shoe and then help them pace better help them understand what's going on with their body help them track training when you know this you know they move to a new environment or they're traveling for work and they're running hilly runs and they get discouraged because their heart rate is all messed up or their pace is all messed up, their Strava doesn't look as good because their pace is slow, but in reality, they're actually outputting, you know, 10 watts higher than they normally do. Like those are sort of things that, you know, people might be able to get a, get a benefit with Stride for. I think if we had to talk literally about all the benefits and the use cases, um, this would probably be like a four hour podcast and I wouldn't stop talking and my voice would be hoarse, uh, so I wouldn't be able to talk at work tomorrow. Um, but you know, specifically, I think the concept of power, whether it is Stride or, you know, people like Garmin or Polar are starting to introduce power into their sort of platforms. Uh, the concept of running power, I think, translates so well once people understand that they can, un like, they can get a better idea of how their body's actually performing second by second but then also training session by training session, training cycle by cycle, race by race. Um, the concept of running power is just something that is still in its infancy um, and I think just has so much room to grow and educate people, people with.